take five billion sink up here there aren't many things on this big blue ball that we live in that are sexier than an unconnected beard insane slightly homicidal woman and john green come close but in reality an unconnected beard is kind of where the hill meets the sky you know the pinnacle of masculinity if you will that's that's the reason why earl sweatshirt concerts are void of women not not because of the smell don't don't worry about that and yeah earl sweatshirt looks as if the last time he hopped in a shower was when Drake was making listenable music, but just because he hasn't showered since the dawn of time doesn't mean we'll stop drooling over him. You'll never understand, until of course, you listen to E. coli by Earl Sweatshirt and The Alchemist. Febe Neruda Kukositsile, aka Earl Sweatshirt, is a California rapper who blazed his way to mainstream popularity by being the most proficient rapper of the hip-hop collective Odd Future Wolf Gang Kill Them All. He became that group's mascot after he was kicked to a boarding school in an island by his mother. This led to the internet's free Earl movement, cementing him and his big-ass lips in pop culture forever. Since then, Debe has become somewhat of a legendary figure in hip-hop, cementing his legacy completely with his classic 2018 album Some Rap Songs. An album which, aside from turning me into a pretentious waste of sperm, kind of redefined abstract hip-hop as a whole. And in the next 500 words or so, I plan on telling you exactly what this ugly-ass nigga's music has done to me. See, the, the songs, though, are, is what I do. I've always thought that Post Solace, his 2015 EP, Earl has rapped like he was picking leaves off of dead trees and using them to build new trees. His lyrics are abstract, a spiraling mess of weed-induced words that on their own sometimes mean virtually nothing, but when strung together paint a whole new picture. Bars like pedal to the metal, lost foot and it was sugar in my gas tank, or peace to every crease on your brain carry enough weight on their own, but within the larger context of the album are sometimes absolutely gut-wrenching. And, and, and that's honestly what I would say Earl's music does to me. It made me more empathetic. Not just to others, but to myself. I realized I couldn't keep falling into the same pit and getting back up again only to curse myself when I do. Some rap songs and Sick and Solace show Earl finding a deeper, almost cosmic sense of empathy. The ability to forgive time and the universe for wronging you is an extremely difficult one to get hold of. But Earl gave me and millions of others words to put our hate into. To quote him, he found the middle in a bit of balance. And that's the path that I think a lot of us are on right now. We can't keep living our lives as a roller coaster of fatalistic lows and god complex highs we have to find a line to straddle Stra straddle strad okay i'm not a dumbass i know better than to turn flesh and bone into gods but that's what makes earl so special to me he's not wearing a cape and a crown like kendrick or cole who to be fair have denounced their pedestals on multiple occasions on multiple songs but Febe is just a nigger. He's a nigger who's lived and is living and is documenting his growth. And that's enough for me and for the others who love his music. The truth is, not every bad day has to be the end of the world. To quote Earl Sweatshirt himself for the last time, walked outside and it was still gorgeous. And I know that's like a pretentious way of saying my nigger touched some grass, but in all honesty, I did walk outside today. And it kind of was gorgeous. Okay, I'm aware that your porn tab is waiting, but before you go, I wrote a book, really cool. My name is right here. The title is right here. Great book. I well, not my best, but I like it. Okay, but but that isn't the best part. But the relevant part, the relevant part is that there's a quote by our Lord and Savior Himself, Earl Sweatshirt. He goes, I don't know if you can read this text. I hope you can. You can't really start living until you can live with yourself. A little corny, but you know, I was 18, whatever. The point is, if you want to support a young boss, you know, get the book.